Freshwater wetlands, such as shrub wetlands, aquatic beds, sedge meadows, and freshwater marshes, usually have open water temporarily or seasonally. They commonly have grass-like plants, shrubs, and floating or underwater plants that can be found on the edges of lakes or rivers. Isla Park has a very unique history. Uh, it started out as agricultural land, um, it moved on to a racetrack, and then into a garbage dump, and then finally it ended up turning into a uh, wetland, which now is home to a bunch of species, deer, beavers, lots of wetland birds, and lots of amphibians and reptiles like salamanders and frogs, including the great tree frog. This park ended up being the first amphibian and reptile park in Canada, um, just because of the great tree frog. Invasive plant species threaten native species in these wetlands by using their resources and in doing so push native species out of their habitat. Throughout the park there is an invasive species called glossy buckthorn that is everywhere. So the Nature Trust has conducted a program to hopefully get rid of the glossy buckthorn. It would be a long process and it takes a lot of work but in the end it would be beneficial to the native vegetation species. Forested wetlands, such as floodplain forests and swamps, mainly have trees and shrubs and sometimes do not look like wetlands at all. Forested wetlands are often home to silver maple, cedar, and black spruce and host many wildlife species. Cedar and black spruce wetlands are becoming increasingly rare because of the demand for their lumber. Floodplain forests, in turn, are threatened by the development of shoreline properties. This part of the site is a cedar swamp, and you can see behind me that it's got eastern white cedar trees, uh, some yellow birch, some balsam fir, and there's a bit of ironwood tucked in here as well. Um, there is a, a small pool just off to our left here, um, and that would be open water all year round, and so that's a vital source of water for um, rodents and forest creatures all the way from uh, you know, squirrels, red squirrels, up to uh, deer and, and moose and bear. And we've seen sign of all of those species in here at different times of the year. Um, but certainly if you come to some of these open pools of water uh, in the winter when there could be three, four, five feet of snow in here, um, there will be tracks from raccoons and coyotes, foxes, and, and literally every forest species that is uh, is out there because it is often the only source of water available to them uh, in the winter. For more information, visit us at www.naturetrust.nb.ca.